Hey Pisces, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and I am about to do a reading for your sign today. Um, this is a uh, continuation of the last two readings, and it's really cool because actually most of my readings have come out um, the past few times as a continuation of what was started like two readings ago. So this would be the third reading um, for this particular subject matter, and um, I do believe it's the culmination of everything. It is... Uh, it is um, everything that's led up to this point is um, is um, resolved in this reading. So it's super interesting. So let's get started. Um, your foundational cards are all major arcana. Major are there's 21 major arcana, and all of the major arcana are life lessons. They're karmic and life lessons that um, we need to learn before we can move on to the next process in our life, right? <coughs> These life lessons right here, you're presenting your recent past as justice. The universe is telling you that there is justice in the world and that when you do right, the universe rewards you with justice one way or another and it might take a minute, but you will get what's coming to you if you are righteous and you do the right thing. The universe isn't going to reward you for being an asshole, okay? But it will reward you for being um, just and truth and fair and honest and taking the high road, okay? So there's justice in the world. You need to uh, spend some time with yourself. Spend some time with yourself and do some introspection and some soul searching in your current energy, right? This is your current energy. You need to uh, just uh, uh, be with yourself for a minute and figure some things out. And the best way for that to happen is to be alone, to become the hermit. Go inside, do some soul searching, some introspection, and seek some inner guidance. That's, that's like a life lesson right there because when we have... Things that are important, life-changing things, you have to take a minute to be alone with yourself, like forever. If you don't know that already, this is the lesson. Take a minute to be alone with yourself. Listen to your intuition. In your immediate future, you have the high priestess. The high priestess is our intuition sacred knowledge, which means knowledge that's only within you. Only you know what that is, right? Your subconscious mind. Sitting down and spending some time with the high priestess is imperative to having a successful life. You have to use your, I hate to say this, but your God-given intuition, right? We have that for a reason. And if we're quiet with ourselves and we listen to what spirit is trying to tell us, your outcome is the wheel of fortune. When you sit and listen to what spirit has to tell you and you're cognizant of the changes that are trying to happen in your life, you will complete the cycles that you need to complete in order to expand in your enlightenment, if that makes sense, right? The Wheel of Fortune is all about good luck, karma, life cycles, a turning point in your destiny. But you can't get here if you're not in touch with these and believing that there is justice. This is just an extra card that I pulled out. I didn't pull it out. This is an extra card that flipped out, and I just wanted to keep it off to the side because I thought it might, um, I thought it might show itself at some point in this reading. So we'll see how that goes. So anyway, those are the life lessons that this reading is talking about right here, and these are the processes that you need to go through 
to get from one to the other, right? So let's go. Your recent past, justice. Justice only happens when somebody's been wronged. So justice is applied to the situation in regards to a relationship. There was a culmination. And what's on the table now is the offer of um, manifesting a new opportunity and prosperity in regards to teamwork and collaboration and engagement. Okay? I don't mean engagement like a ring on your finger engagement. I mean engagement like coming together and engaging and working together and, and planning and, 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 you know, working together, right? So, here we go. All right. Justice was served. In regards to a relationship, there was a culmination, and what's now on the table is the offer of a new beginning in regards to teamwork and collaboration and coming together and working on something. It's your recent past. Your present energy, you are in, in the energy of the hermit, right? You are going inside. You're doing some soul searching. Hopefully you are. Some introspection. Seeking some inner guidance and just being alone with yourself for a minute. In that energy, you are contemplating the broken heart and the betrayal and the deception that has happened in the past. Decision made. Right? Not in, in despair. Right? Should be this way. The despair. Decision made. So in your present energy, that's where you are. You are contemplating the pain from the past, right? Because remember, justice is, only, justice is only applied when there's been an, un, un, an injustice in the past. So you're thinking about the injustice. This, this was the injustice in the past, okay? You're thinking about all of that hard, so hard that you're having a sit down with your intuition. In your immediate future, you're having a sit down with your intuition. In regards to what makes you happy concerning this offer of love, of feelings, okay? This offer of emotions that you received from the Knight of Cups. This is um, water energy, by the way, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Only because at this point is that important to point out, okay? This person right here probably has Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer somewhere in their chart. That's why it's important to go to the link below and pull up your astrological chart and find out what your sun sign is, your ascending sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign, the four most important ones when you're doing tarot readings, right? Because, I mean, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You're like, I'm not, not, I don't know anybody that has cups, but that Gemini could have um, water in their chart somewhere. So anyway, the point is, is that um, you are sitting down with your intuition, contemplating about what makes you happy in regards to this emotional offer you got. Knight of Cups literally means romance, charm, and a knight in shining armor, okay? And there's death, an ending, a change, a transformation, and a transition. So sitting down with your intuition about what makes you happy in regards to this offer of emotion, ending, change, transition, in regards to love and purpose, decision, it's capped off, right? These are capped off, these are capped off. I mean, this is like a very serious reading right here. It's a very serious reading. You have so 
many major arcana floating around in here. We'll talk about that. So, in, 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 in your soul, soul searching about what makes you happy, with which way you want to go, death comes in and says that there's an ending, a transition, a change, and a transformation. This is your decision right here, this death card. Ending, change, transition, transformation. In regards to love and purpose in your life. Capped off by the High Priestess again. Two, two different decks, but the same card. Capped off by the High Priestess again. I mean, look at her. I just got to point this out real quick. Excuse me. <coughs> look at her. I mean, she hasn't a worry in the world. You know why? Because she already knows. She already knows. And that's the part of us that a lot of us don't acknowledge. Men and women, priestess, priest, whatever. It's the point is, is that she already knows. She, she, this is our intuition, right? And when we tap down inside of that, even if we have to toss it around a little bit, you know, sometimes intuition just doesn't come point on right now. Sometimes we have to sit on it, which is what you did. You sat on your intuition and you did some searching and you came out on the other side with a soul decision. It gave you anxiety, though. Actually, these should be switched, too. You know, as, as a, a read of the cards talk in choppy languages, um, a choppy, choppy verbiage, right? Like when you're talking to um, somebody that doesn't speak your language and you talk real slow so they understand what you're saying, that's how the cards talk to me. And sometimes cards will come out that just need to be rearranged in the reading for it, for it to make a fluid sense, okay? So about purpose. Had you wrapped up in serious anxiety. Soul decision made. Swift action being taken. This is your immediate future. Swift action being taken. This is your outcome, the wheel of fortune, right? A turning point in your destiny. So this decision that you made over here, followed through with the here and here, followed through with about this, followed through with swift action and change, will be a turning point in your destiny. There will be a new beginning and a new journey. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal with a, a steady intention, though be it a slow-moving energy, solid and stable offer. Because justice was applied to the situation, whatever that is, maybe there was, you know, there's no, there's no king or king of swords coming up or anything like that. So, I would think justice, justice, of course. Um, and this is referring to this, of course. I forgot where I have. I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. So justice was applied to the situation, right? Over here. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, sorry. Um, somebody, you guys talked, right? Previous to all of this. And as a matter of fact, in the last reading, I remember there being a lot of pages and a lot of nights flying around because you guys were talking. If I'm not mistaken, you guys were talking hardcore. So that was like past past. That resulted in this, which resulted in this, which resulted in this, which is resulting in this. Justice was applied to the situation. There's a transition. Oh, look, the transition card. There's a transition out of conflict, into an inspired, passionate new beginning that will bring you the Ten of Cups, which is harmony, marriage, happiness, and alignment with your King of Pentacles, right? This is husband material, security, control, power, discipline, and abundance with the King of Pentacles. Forward motion, determination, action, success with the chariot, 
Ten of Pentacles, right? Wealth, family, establishment, success. Profit and reward for the seeds that you've sown. Justice. Profit and reward for the seeds that you've sown. Decent, kind, forgiving, understanding. I don't mean a doormat, though. Okay, there's a difference between being a kind spirit and being a doormat for people. So I just want to point that out, all right? It ends beautifully, Pisces. It ends absolutely beautifully. I mean, the three prior readings to this, this is just an absolute continuation. Now, remember that we all have free will. And if anybody in this reading along the course of it changes the direction of anything, the whole reading is going to change. But if it stays on its current course, if it stays on its current course, you have an absolutely freaking beautiful outcome full of change. This reading changes your life. Not this reading, but this reading, should it all play out like this, is a life-changing experience. Your life will never be the same again. You are going to move forward into an, an, an abundant relationship with success and prosperity and a new journey, faith, hope, renewal, spiritual, right? Wow, this is a great reading, Pisces. Well, I sure do hope that you enjoyed it. And um, if you would like a personal reading, you can reach me at taurusstartarot at gmail.com. And um, yeah, that's awesome, Pisces. Congratulations. Let me know how it all works out down below. I would love to know. Oh, yeah. If you liked it, like the video because it helps to populate my channel on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. And um, if you think that this video will help anybody, feel free to share it, okay? Thank you so much and namaste.